The water from one outlet flowing at a constant rate can fill a swimming pool in nine hours. The water from a second outlet flowing from a constant rate can fill the same pool in five hours. If both outlets are used at the same time approximately, what is the number of hours required to fill the pool? So what we need to know here is that we need to change these numbers to rates. And the reason we need them as rates is because we can add rates. So rate number one, the rate of the first outlet, that is one pool in nine hours. So I'm just going to write these rates in units of pools per hour since those are the units given to us. The first rate is one pool in nine hours. The second rate is one pool in five hours. The combined rate is going to be the sum of these two rates. Again, what you're allowed to add in a problem like this, you're allowed to add the rates. So I'm going to add one ninth plus one fifth. And of course, to do that, I'm going to find a common denominator, multiply one ninth by five over five, multiply one fifth by nine over nine. And of course, the reason I'm allowed to do that, the reason I'm allowed to multiply by something like nine over nine, nine over nine is one. And so it really doesn't change the numerical value of the fraction at all. So the first fraction becomes 5 over 45. Second fraction becomes 9 over 45. And together, this combined rate is 13 over 45. And so this means that I would do 13 pools in 45 hours. So I'm not really interested in that. I really want to know how long it would take to do one pool. And so set up a portion, cross multiply, and solve for x. x equals 45 over 13. Now, of course, the answer choices are given as decimals. We know that 13 goes into 45, 3 and a little bit more. And the only answer choice that is of the form, 3 and a little bit more, is answer choice D.